Tonight, authorities are going after Anonymous, the group responsible for Operation Payback, which temporarily crippled the websites of MasterCard, Visa, and PayPal after those companies cut off financial services to WikiLeaks. Five people have been arrested in the UK. And yesterday, the FBI executed 40 search warrants across the U.S. as part of their ongoing investigation into who's responsible for the DDoS attacks. Now, the FBI hasn't said whether anyone in the U.S. has been arrested, but they did confirm that there is a link with the arrests in Britain. And they said that if people are charged here in the U.S., those people could face up to 10 years in prison. So a transatlantic operation is now going after the hacktivists. But will it stop them? Joining me to discuss it is a source within Anonymous. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Now, first, I just want to ask, uh, on behalf of Anonymous, are you guys mm -hmm. surprised that the authorities are going after you here? Um, I, it, is a, it is a horrible shame that they continue to go after us, but it doesn't surprise us at all. I mean, we've been aware for months that Scotland Yard and the FBI have had ongoing investigations against Anonymous. Um, it's kind of, I think it's the kind of their quest to bring down the whole of Anonymous, and they're never going to succeed. They kind of think that all of our base are belong to them, and they're very wrong. Why do you call this a shame? Do you consider that what you've done is a criminal activity, uh, or, or is this a peaceful pro form of protest? I've seen some of your statements claiming that. Oh, um, it's a shame that they continue to try. They're never going to stop the whole of Anonymous. Um, DDoSing is not malicious. It's, it could be considered a cyber sit-in, you know, an online protest. Um, it's not harmful. It's much like... Well, it's much, think of it much like blocking an entrance to a building, like a, a bank or a shop. We're not breaking windows of buildings. We're not destroying parts of websites. We're simply denying access to it. That's, that's the point, distributed denial of service attacks. It's just a protest, but online. Now, it seems like there is an international effort going on between the U.K. and the U.S. And I know that you guys wrote out a uh, statement for the British government. Do you have anything to say for the U.S. government now that you know that they're working together on this one? Um, at the moment, I can't speak for the whole of Anonymous, but we do not have a current U.S. government press release. It might change, so um, we just say keep your eyes peeled on the Internet. But how do you uh, take these actions from the U.S. government, searching, or, excuse me, executing 40 search warrants all in one day across the U.S.? Oh, we're taking it quite well. We're trying to support... We're trying to find out who it is. We're trying to support people. Um, uh, it is a pain. We, again, we're not worried that they're going to catch all of us. Um, hold on, sorry. My connection is giving me issues. Are you still with me? Can keep talking so we can see if, uh, if we can still hear you. I think that we may have lost our anonymous representative. Please tell me if you're still with us and your connection is better. I think that we, uh, that we may have lost him there. I think we're trying to redial, but uh, 40 search warrants, like I said, were served yesterday by the FBI across the U.S., and they said that they haven't yet arrested anybody, but these people could face up to 10 years in jail. Now, if you remember, we've spoken to officials from Anonymous, or representatives, excuse me, a number of times on this show, especially after the first time that they decided to go after the websites of MasterCard and Visa in response to WikiLeaks and Anonymous. Anonymous also has come out recently in support of what's going on in Egypt. They say, they even wrote a letter saying that this is a warning to the Egyptian government. They are not about censorship. As you know, the Egyptian government, as we spoke tonight, uh, shut down the internet. They also shut down all cell phone communications. And I think that we have our anonymous official uh, representative back now. Uh, since I was yeah. speaking about it, I was just mentioning that Anonymous released a statement in which you also were supporting what's going on in Egypt right now. Is that correct? Yes, we are. We're supporting the... Firstly, sorry for my connection there. Yes, we're supporting the protesters in Egypt. We have been... Well, of course, the Internet has been shut down in Egypt. We've been sending faxes of WikiLeaks documents to uh, Egyptian locations like schools. We're trying to get people involved in WikiLeaks, trying to help people out. We're also trying to um, make sure the Internet is well spread there. Um, most Internet ISPs in Egypt have been shut down. There's still some dial-up going on that the government used, so we've been trying to help people with that too. Now, in regards to, uh, you know, the investigations by the UK and the US, what's your plan here? I know you can't give us the exact details, but is there, oh, you know, uh, some kind of a plan for retaliation? No, I, can't, I, can't, I can't tell you for certainty that we have a plan for retaliation. There could always be an idea that gets sparked between Anonymous. Um, 
It could always happen. Mainly I'm just baffled by the FBI's statement about this, that DDoSing can earn up to 10 years in prison. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, I think they just see us as hackers on steroids. They're trying to take us all down. Um, but we don't have any initial plans, but that could change. Well, I also just want to know, uh, in response to some of your actions lately when it comes to these DDoS attacks, what uh, kind of a response have you gotten from people? Obviously not from government officials who aren't too happy uh, about it, but from, from regular citizens, yeah, from yeah. the public. Are they supporting you here? I mean, lesbians with this question, definitely. Um, we've got such a large influx of positive support from everyone. Well, not everyone, but a majority over the past couple of months. I mean, more and more people are realizing that they need to fight back against governments who think they can they bite at their citizens. I mean, bringers of censorship and corruption need to learn that if they keep biting the anonymous hand, the anonymous hand will bitch slap them in the face. And we just want to stress that everyone is anonymous. We're not a secret club, a malicious hacking group, a cult of cyber terrorists, or an underground insurgent clan. I mean, we're not contained within one IRC network, uh, one image board, or one human generation. I mean, we're everyone and we are no one. We're the producers of your show, uh, we're the people at home watching it. Uh, on YouTube or other televisions. And if you want to help out our cause, uh, we have sites like anonnews.org and anonops.ru to get started. Uh, we have press releases, news sources, a forum, and a, a public IRC network. Um, okay. that you can come on any time. We're never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Um, I think that some of our producers here on the Alona show might counter that statement, but thank you very much for joining us.